I'm a professor of digital media here at MIT. I founded and direct the Imagination, Computation, and Expression Laboratory, or ICE Lab. And that's a lab where we invent and develop new forms of interactive narrative, computer gaming, social media, and most importantly, new forms of interactive digital media unanticipated by any of those. So since childhood, I've been interested in the combination of computer science and art and artificial intelligence and related areas. The further I pushed in that area, I learned that what I wasn't interested in was superficial interaction, just being able to change the mechanism for how you input your information into the computer or how you change the outcome of a story. But what I was really interested in was how you change meaning, how you change the, the story so it can fit different audiences, diverse audiences, how you can help people to see different perspectives, how I could challenge myself to see different perspectives that I might not have thought about before. And what I realized was that I wasn't strictly interested in narrative, I wasn't strictly interested in storytelling or poetics. I was interested in how imagination and social ideology come together. And the idea of the phantasm in my book came from combining a notion from the cognitive sciences, phantasmata, which are a form of sensory imagination, mental images and our sensory impressions, along with ideas of concept generation. How can we best use the computer to form new forms of ideas combined with imagery in the way that the best of other media, novels like, uh, like Ralph Ellison's Invisible Man uh, do? How can we have that same kind of social commentary, that same kind of social reflection, the same push for social change with rich imaginative world building, culture building, useful for both engineers as well as people in the humanities, arts and social sciences?